Hey, what's up, fam? Wolf God the Prophet here. Look, the number one request that I get is how do I run my Facebook ads? So I decided to make a video about it today. Now, if you clicked on this video and you're not familiar who I am and you're just curious how to run the Facebook ads, my name is Wolf God the Prophet. I go by JT. I run a dumpster rental business. Quick disclaimer before we start I am no pro. I'm not saying I'm the best at Facebook ads. I'm not saying this is the right way. I'm not saying this is the only way. I'm not saying none of that. I'm no expert. I'm simply just going to share my screen with y'all, show y'all what I've did, show y'all what I can do better, and show y'all my whole entire process. So let's um, jump on the computer, share my screen with y'all, and we're gonna get straight to it, all right? Um, before we jump into how to create an ad, let's go and look at my last post. My last ad, I'm sorry. My last ad I ran. So I ran two ads. I spent $60 total recently within like the last couple of months. This is like an old ad that I ran, but these last two ads is what I ran recently. I spent $60. So let's look at the results. Well, first let's go back to the home page and look at the comments and stuff. This is the last ad that I ran, right? Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not an expert. I am not saying this is the correct way to go. I'm just showing you guys what I did. Now there's ad copies out there, you know, that's like a good ad copy, but for rent dumpsters, to me, it's not that deep. You know, I found that simple, keep it simple works. At least it works for me. Here's the post I made. Snap the picture, um, dumpster delivery to your front door, book yours today, fall special, 235 for 48 hours. Simple. A customer should see this. Here's my thought press behind it, you know. Dumpster delivery to your front doors, dumpster is small, tight, get it to your front door, 235 for 48 hours. That's gonna be the main thing in the price. But let's just look at the comment. The comment is going to tell you what you should be putting in your post, right? Like they're gonna tell you, the comments is gonna tell you. They're not gonna tell you directly, but you kinda gotta um, pick and pull from it on what to put in your app. For an example, is this straight 235? or is it straight 235 charge or do we have to pay for the weight also? So maybe in my ad, I should have put 235, you know, flat free, no hidden prices, blah, 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 blah. That's what I mean. For a 40 yard, how much to cost the rent? I don't have a 40 yard. Do you service Bluffton, South Carolina? So maybe in my ad, I should have put the list of services. I should have put the list of areas that I service, you know? So that's what I mean when I say your comments are going to dictate, you know, how people accept your ad, you know? So just looking at how much it is for an hour. Um, I, I don't do hourly rates. That might be somebody just trying to, you know, see what I'm charging. They might be starting a dumpster in the company, but whatever, I'm in Bloomingdale. So you, 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 your comments is genuinely going to tell you how people perceive it. And you, then you just take from what you need to create your next ad and create your next ad. That's how you get better at creating ad copy. It don't have to be perfect is what I'm saying. So let's view results of this ad. And I'm going to create an ad. I'm not going to run it, but I'm going to create it so you guys can see my thought process and actually how to do it. I just want to show y'all these results real quick. So I've reached 1,632 people. Messaging conversation started. This is not comments. This just strictly mean people that DM me or send me a private message. Uh, are you satisfied with this ad? I'm gonna go and put yes. Eh, skip that, yep. But all right, so 14 post engagements, eight links, four post reaction, one post share. I spent a total of $30. I spent a total of $30 and spread it at $30 over seven days. And I've got three customers. I ran two ads. So I got a total of six customers because I, I ran this ad twice. So I spent $60. I ran a separate ad for $30. I spent $60 and I got six customers out of both of them. But yeah, so I ran it uh, seven days and I spent $30. My goal was to get more messages. You're going to see that in a second when we get to create an ad. All right, so here's the audience. Here's like a detailed audience. So 60% of people were women. Obviously, you know, women, I guess, shop more on social media. I, I, I have no idea, but it reached mostly women. It was mobile app news feed, marketplace mobile, Facebook search results, Facebook stories. So um, Facebook does all the work for you when it comes to your ads. Then I'm telling you, they do work. So that's just a review of the ad. Like I say, I ran this twice, spent $60 and I got six customers from it. So let's go create an ad real quick. Go to the ad center right here. Create an ad right here. Now choose your goal. Your goal should be get more messages, right? And the reason why this goal, and it's also recommended, the reason why this goal is recommended because Facebook is going to show it to people who's most likely to interact with your ad, whether that be, you know, liking the post, sharing the post or leaving a comment or sending you a DM. 
So I found that get more messages always work for me. Click on get more messages. Now, when you guys set up your, you know, Facebook business page, you can have like a template, you know, to where you can generate ads or like create it. So this was just like a general template that I made anytime I wanted to boost the post. Um, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't even did, I haven't even ran this particular ad yet. I always just use a post, right? So we go up here, use a post. Now I can use this post that I last just did. I can use this post. So I'm gonna use this one, right? Cause I got this post, this post got 35 comments and I didn't run an ad on this post. So zero comments. So let's use this post. And I'm actually, I'm not going to actually run the ad. I'm just going to walk out through the process because I don't need an ad. So this is how it will look. Need a dumpster, driveway friendly, rent yours today. You know, headline with dumpster rentals. You can change that. Uh, you can change the description, however you want to do it. Here's what I'll say. The most and two important things that people want to know, well, the number one thing people want to know is how much do it cost? So make sure that's always in your ad, right? Not, not necessarily a post, but in the ad. Like, so when you run an ad, people want to know the price and stuff, you know, and that kind of just saves times for them inboxing you, asking you how much it is. So always put a price in your ad. So for example, this is, was a regular post. If I was going to run this at an ad, I would put need a dumpster, driveway friendly, rent yours today for only $235. Rent yours today for only two thirty-five for forty-eight hours. So you know that's the most important thing that you should put in there because people want to know, you know. So, and like I say, you guys can put in all the areas that you service. You know, you can just put in, you know, uh, how big is it? You know, all, like we just went over those comments. You guys can put those those the answer to those questions inside of ad. But I found this works for me. This works for me um you can change it right so if it's not junk removal and, and and i do i leave junk removal in there just because even though i don't focus on that i still do curbside pickup so i leave junk removal in there you can leave it like that if you just want to focus on and it'll show you up here if you just want to focus on dumpster rental for this particular ad you know wolf dumpster rentals send message all right so <clears throat> when you guys create your first ad right you can create different target audiences and you can already have them preset so these are already preset for me these two local i just named them local i could have named it something else but um so every time i do it all i gotta do is just click one of these and i know where it's going and um if if you haven't did one you just hit create new so when it comes to audience name you know i just put local and kept it simple nothing major Maybe I should have put like local three. So I put local three here. You can name it whatever you want to name it though. Age 18 to 65. I, I don't really see a lot of 18 year olds renting dumpsters, but I'm figuring what, what, what's the worst that can happen? Location. You can put in location. Let's say I live in ATL, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Say I use that. Atlanta, Georgia plus 25 miles. So if you if you stay in Atlanta area, how far do you want to go out? You can change that. So, you know, maybe if you slow and you're doing like 25 miles, maybe during slow seasons, you bump it up to 35 miles. Potential reach for a million people. Let me just go through it because I can always delete it. I can always go. So save it. Now it's here. Local three. Duration. I usually I usually run it for seven days, right? So First, you put your budget, $5 a day. How much money do you want to spend a day? I usually do about six, 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 five to six dollars a day for seven days. So estimate 466 people. I mean, y'all can bump it up for $20 a day for seven days, $140. You see that right there and you have the potential to reach 566 to 1.6 thousand people per day but that's to me that's like a lot of people per day so you know like i say i just keep it simple so i think i keep mine around six dollars five dollars yep 35 dollars i think i might do five days let's see five six days yep six so for six days 
$5 a day, 131 to 378 people per day. $5 a day, total $30. And um, you can do your placements, you know, where you want to see it. If you don't want it on Messenger, if you don't want it on Instagram, just unclick it. And then you just hit promote now right here. It's simple. It's, it's really not complicated at all. Now, I do recommend doing your own research when it comes to creating ads. Because like I say, it's definitely better ways, you know, to create an ad as far as like the wording and the psychology behind it and whatsoever. But at the end of the day, I'm renting dumpsters. It's not that deep. You either want the dumpster or you don't, you know. So it's not like I'm selling clothes or anything like that. It's a dumpster. You either want it or you don't. But I hope that helps somebody out. If you have any questions, uh, follow me on IG or shoot me an email. Um, both of those are in the description below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.